Hey guys, so I just wanted to take a moment real quick and I was wondering if I could share with you something that's it's been on my mind a lot here recently. So many of us know, we know the, the, the famous cliches in, in the church, you know, Jesus loves you, God cares about you. And, and I believe that those are great things and I believe that most believers have an understanding of that. But there's a story that I wanna share with you and I hope that it encourages you today that, that really encompasses how much God loves us. So the story is in Luke chapter 13 and it starts in verse 10. And it's the story of Jesus speaking in the synagogue. So God is preaching a sermon. So we know that the message was good. And it says that in the middle of his sermon, he looks over and he sees a woman who is bent over, who is crippled. And she's been crippled for 18 years. Guys, 18 years, that's more than half my life. She's been sick, she's been crippled. And something that really stands out to me on how much God loves us is that Jesus drops everything he's doing. He breaks church protocol and he goes over there and he prays with the woman. And it says that, that he laid his hand on her and said that she was set free from her infirmity. And immediately she straightened up and started praising God. The reason I wanna share this story with you today is I want to encourage you that are we just going through the motions of, of church and, and religion? Or are we truly getting out in the world, in our workplace, in our everyday jobs, and introducing people to Jesus? So I was wondering if I could challenge you this week to be the hands and feet of Jesus to wherever you are. Maybe it's a coworker and, and they're just sharing with you what they're going through and, and it's tough. Maybe it's family, maybe it's friends, uh, maybe it's your neighbor or a stranger and they just decided to open up to you. I'm wondering if in this moment, if you will drop everything that you are doing and pray with the person, or will you drop everything that you are doing and just listen to them and, and let them vent or hug them and just show them how much that God loves them. And I think that if, if we just did this, if we put this into practice just for one week, one month, one year, we would be amazed at how many people truly came into a relationship with Jesus just by us introducing them to him. So that's all that I really wanted to share with you today and encourage you for us to go out there and to make a difference, that, that we're not just going through the religious you know, motions, that we really can make a difference. We really can introduce people to Jesus and change their lives forever. Because I believe that there are people all around us that God has put in our lives that they are, whether through shame or whether just through how religion beats people down, they are bent over and they feel like they cannot straighten up. And I'm wondering if in these moments, and this goes for me as well, will we drop everything that we are doing and will we pray with them and show them Jesus?